Hi, my name is The Laboratory, a founder and the leader of a performing group based in Accra uh, called precisely Hewale Sounds. Hewale means strength. Uh, I founded this group way back in 1996, and it's because I believe in our authentic music and traditional music and folk music as well. And in uh, all, what I'm trying to do is to preserve and to develop and to promote our national music with a continuation of what our ancestors have composed for us, um, keeping on doing more of um, traditional music, which is originally composed by myself, and other folk music style that I am doing for myself to continue uh, what our ancestors has left behind us. So as you can see, I'm holding uh, the bamboo. It's called Atenteben, Atenteben. You can spell it A-T-E-N-T-E-B-E-N, and again, A-T-E-N-T-E-B-E-N, Atenteben, or if you want me to break it down, Atenteben, Aten can be a one word, which is A-T-E-N, then Te, which is the T-E-Ben, which is the B-E-N, like you are spelling Ben. All right, so Aten the Ben is a Ghanaian traditional national instrument originally um, made by the late Dr. Ephraim Amu. And Ephraim Amu have used this instrument to play various traditional music and also his own compositions, composition by the late uh, Nana Kwabana Nkitia Emeritus and also the late Nana Danso Abiyam also used it uh, with the Pan-African Orchestra, which I was a former, uh, former member of the group. And now the Pan-African Youth Orchestra is also using it. So I would like to demonstrate that the Atenteben can play traditional music, you can play folk music, you can use it to do uh, classical music, or you can use it to play jazz music. But I would like to demonstrate short, short, short version of these areas. All right, so I'm going to play some few uh, folkloric uh, or folk music. I play one already, Pete Pete, Sayin Wadi Din Day, and I'm going to play another one from the uh, Gan area. So just relax, and I'll come back and tell you details about the instrument. Shebo, So Atentebe is a, a traditional instrument, like I said earlier on, with seven holes. There's one at the bottom here, if you can see, and then there's a six on top. So you are using four fingers from your left hand, and then right, you are using three fingers. So these are the fingers first before I place it on the instrument. This is, this is the finger one, with the thumb. Then the next one is this one, number two. And this one gives you number three. And this one, number four. So one, two, three, and four. This one is not doing anything. Then you come to the right. Right, this is just holding it. It's not doing anything for the support. And then you apply directly the, the fifth finger from your right hand is this one. And it gives you number uh, five, which is D. Then you go to the next finger, which is number six. That gives you a C. Then number seven, which is this one, that gives you B. So in all, you have A, 
G F E. You are done with your left hand. Then you come to your right hand. You put this one under it, and this one gives you key of D, which is number five. Then you go to number six, which gives you C. Then you go to the last hole. You cover all the holes. That gives you the key of B. You know, but the secret in this instrument is that you have to make sure all the holes are covered very well because if the holes are not covered very well, this is what is what happens on the way. You might think the instrument is not good, but you're lying, the instrument is good because the holes are not covered very well. So you have to make sure you cover all the holes very well. Then you hear a sound like this. Now I want to play C, but if the holes are not covered very well, this is what I'm going to hear. Because there's a leakage. So if I cover the same thing, now I want to play D. If the holes are the hole is covered very well, this is what you hear. But if it's not covered very well, now let me cover it very well. And to the E to F to G to A to B. I went to the C, I have to increase uh, the air and blow one octave higher for me to get the, the T in the scale of C major. Then after that, I move back to the second octave of the key of C. All right, so uh, you have to start practicing uh, the basic practice that I've given you. Uh, remember again, from your left hand, you are using four fingers, one, two, and three, and four, which is A, G, F, and E. And if you come to your right, this one is just supporting it, and this one comes and you get the key of D, number five, and number six, you get C, and number seven, you get the B. But next time, uh, I will come with a note. Um, so prepare yourself, the next time I'll bring, I'll, I'll bring you the note for you to start playing. I hope by the time I meet you, you have already learned the basic. Thank you.